As I said earlier, I lost in cinema. I succeeded. For the next six, seven years, I never had success. Again, I had very existential questions. With all this success, what I'm going to do? A life which is completely lived for yourself is of no use, unless it is extended to others. This thought, this thought made me to be away from the very cinema which I loved. And I had failures, series of failures. And people who cheer up for me, who stand up for me, they were cursing me. What happened to your competitive spirit? What happened to your tenacity? What happened wow. to your uh, fighting spirit? I never lost my tenacity, I never lost my, lost my perseverance, I never lost my fighting spirit. But I was under a very existential uh, thought process. And then, finally, a, an opportunity came, and another film became a huge success. That's called Gavarsi. So what I mean to say is, you, you get failures. And then, once in a while, I had success later, I had failures, it depends, it was going like this, in a, way, in a curvy way. And how do you behave when you get success? And then I would like to end up with failure. I had the highest success possible, but I never felt great about it. The reason is, because to achieve something, even for me to address a, a kind of, uh, to keep, to come in front of this podium and address uh, as, uh, a, a, a session to, uh, speaking, uh, a speech to you, you know how many, uh, okay, tens of people has to work for it. A success comes onto a plate out of many, Invisible hands, Even in many invisible hands. It's not just I was alone. Maybe we are at the pinnacle point. Maybe we are being thrusted upwards. But always I look at the people who are contributors for my success. That's why I never felt, I never had uh, uh, a great feeling about my success. But I'm grateful to the people who stood by me thick and thin. And acknowledging Acknowledgement is very important in success. Especially when you are in the, you're going to be the, you're going to be the financial wizards, you're going to be quite successful people. But understand, there are people who would who really contribute to your success. Please kindly acknowledge them. And success is transitory. The way failure is a transitory, success is also transitory. Please don't stick to success and don't feel, don't take, uh, too much into your head. That's all I would like to share. When it comes to politics, I'm a, a failed politician, as I'm not. No, let, let us. No, acceptance. Acceptance. Okay. I'm not feeling bad about it, let me tell you. I'm not feeling bad about it. Success, failure is halfway to success. I, I never feel low about my failures. I feel good about my failures because I have achieved something. Unlike many people who want to see a change in the society, they don't do anything. They sit in their comfortable chairs. They have opinions on every damn thing. They have everything to say. Right from cricket, right from day-to-day uh, -day events, everything, they have an opinion, but they won't do anything. For me, I'm doing something, and yet I fail. I feel good about it. I attempt it. So tomorrow, you try to achieve something in the process. If you fail, don't regret. It's just transitory. It's a passing phase. Never, ever lose your spirit out of failure. That's what I would like to show. Now it is the lifestyle. We are in a generation of uh, lifestyle diseases. And we are in a generation of instant gratification. 
Long back when I wanted to do something for society, I started an organization called Before Coming into Politics, I came into politics. I started a thing called the Common Men Protection Force, which was a, a preliminary exercise for a political party. And I met a lot of youngsters from different engineering colleges and all. The reason why I'm saying instant gratification is people want success immediately. They want change immediately. It won't happen like that. You have to work towards it. So they got disillusioned. They got disillusioned, disappointed within 10 days. They're looking for a change because they came. In one session, you can't change. It takes a minimum decade to feel a dent, to put a dent to, uh, to, for anything. This is not going to be easy. So this is the lifestyle and, uh, and the reason why I was looking for why these kids are, why they are not at all motivated. Why their enthusiasm is like this and going down like, immediately. I feel they aren't living the life completely. They need everything immediately, like instant coffee, instant food, like Maggie noodles, like an instant uh, you know, Nescafe. You know, it's, it doesn't have, life doesn't happen that way. You have to really work hard towards it. Today, my mission is, my mission to make sure to empower youth of this nation. <laughs> Instead of sitting, cursing our political system, Instead of sitting and cursing our political system, let us do something about it. This is, I made this as my mission, my life statement.